Three, two, one, ignition. Lift off the Falcon 9. Avionics power and telemetry nominal. T plus 48 seconds after liftoff, Falcon 9 leaving Earth under 1.7 million pounds of thrust. We're throttling the nine Merlin engines right now as we get ready for the period of a maximum dynamic pressure as the vehicle goes supersonic. Vehicle is supersonic. We've heard a call out, vehicle is supersonic. The Merlin engines have throttled back up. We're through the period of maximum dynamic pressure. We've heard call out, propulsion is nominal. Avionics is reporting nominal status also. Vehicle has passed through maximum aerodynamic pressure. Next activity we should hear call out is the start of MVAC chill. That's again preparing the turbo pump MVAC on the second chill. stage. And we've heard the call that the chill looks good. Pause our acquisition of signal. Pico. Stage one is in air display. Stage one's in boost back burn. We've heard the call out. Stage one is in the boost back burn. The second stage successfully separated and lit. Getting some great views from space. The sunlight was right. We'd be getting some great uh, plume illumination, but it's a little early in the morning still here on the west coast. Stage two is following a nominal trajectory. That call out stage two following a nominal trajectory, what we like to hear, second stage going right down between the predefined limits on the map that I'm looking at, showing that we're on target, we're on course. Pressurization temps, that's the hot helium we inject in the second stage, look good as we continue on into the burn of the second stage. Some nice views from space, especially compared to the, what the fog did to our cameras at ground level. Second stage continues to be nominal. The uh, upper stage engine is at full power. Everything's looking good. Now coming up next in less than half a minute is the entry burn. That'll be like the boost back burn we had a couple minutes ago. We're gonna use the same three restartable first stage engines. We light the center engine and then a second later, we light the two outboard engines. Stage one's in entry burn. I've heard the call out, stage one's in entry burn. You can see two of the titanium grid fins. Stage one, entry burn shutdown. Shutdown of the entry burn. Meanwhile, second stage continues to be on trajectory, performance looking good. Now when we light the engine, we'll be down to about 650 miles an hour, and then in 30 seconds, stage one's transonic. we will be landing. Stage one landing burn startup. Stage one landing leg deploy. Landing bird shut down. 
We've heard a call out, landing legs deployed, then we heard landing shutdown. Meanwhile, second stage continues to burn, coming up on eight minutes into flight. We'll get second stage engine shut down in about half a minute, following which we'll enter a 43 stage minute coast. We've heard the call out stage two's in terminal guidance. That means we are now doing the math. You know, for those of have done the high AFPS guidance math, saved. they know how we're, ear we're guiding ourselves into the final orbit, and then we'll shut down the engine. We've heard the call out of SECO. And looking at GNC confirms good orbit insertion. the guidance plots we have in front of it, and we just Orbital a good one. Expected. Second stage is right where we want it to be. Now we're getting ready for ignition of the upper stage engine. This is a short four second burn, so ignition should be coming up. And back ignition. Nominal orbital insertion. And there you've heard the call out. We have nominal orbit insertion. Spacecraft separation confirmed. And we have confirmation of separation. You can see it drifting through the top of the screen.